embrace a position that is so far out of the mainstream of the American electorate, it's almost laughable. No? I mean, you, you look troubled about this one. I mean, the fact I am, I'm back. Well, no, no, but, but I mean, I just talked to Congressman Lujan, the top Hispanic in the, the Congress, and he seems to think that there's something wrong. Hello. The census. Are you a citizen? Who is that? Salise, Ty Johnny. Like a pretty reasonable question. Well, first, to Josh's point, I think everybody wants everyone to be counted. That's the point, not to intimidate or scare people who are here undocumented on undocumented status that they're not kind of what the constitution what the founders said was yes, an enumeration of the population that's everyone but i think what we but is, it, is it unreasonable to as part of that it's i mean they, well, wait they, they, we ask a lot of questions sure. in the census about race about about income about gender Come on. What's wrong with asking citizenship? Come on. Nothing. In fact, it's on the long form. What we're talking about is the no, short. It no, it yeah, it's on the, on the long form. I think there has been, historically, there has been in the past. Okay, the one, about, for the one that goes up to three million people. Thank you. That's right. what I'm talking yeah. about. Okay. okay. So, but on the short form, not. And I think this is an effort by this president and this administration as part of stirring anti-immigrant fervor to say that to the immigrant population, don't participate. If you participate, there's a risk to you, to your family. Nancy Pelosi said this, but this is an effort to make America white again. I think that's what's going on because we know that Republican operatives wanted to depress this count in order to limit congressional districts that were run by Democrats. And let's, the Supreme Court let's, says let's, that the, bring Josh back has the, the Commerce Department's rationale for they, doing this was contrived. It, 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 one, I think it's beyond irresponsible to suggest the asking of whether or not you are an American citizen is somehow racist and has roots in trying to exclude people of color. You should look from, at the documentation put out by Republicans that said just that, Josh. No, it, it, look, this is a pretty straightforward issue. And my point was, it is amazing how this president can get folks, one like you, who are eminently reasonable on a whole range of issues to embrace it, to embrace the discussion, that actively says we should not know how many Americans live in this country. Well, I, want I want everybody counted. So I want not only Americans, every because what the Constitution and the census is about is how many people live here. The Supreme Court didn't say never. The Supreme Court said the way this was being handled was contrived. There would be a chance if the Trump administration wants to handle it responsibly for them to come back in 10 years. Oh my God, not Trump won't be president, but for people who want to do this, to come back in 10 years and do this responsibly if, if there's a good day of the month. And I don't want to say it is terrible to know who's a citizen. And the president's executive order directing something that was happening that's been happening for a year, which is having the departments collect information or share information they already have. Let's separate Pelosi 1 and Pelosi 2. I was in Pelosi 1, and yes, Her first I, time to speak. that's right. And uh, yes, I think she should have been much more tolerant of people who were blue dogs, that would be me, and people who were staunchly bipartisan, that would also be me. Uh, I was disappointed not to become chair of the House Intelligence Committee. No one missed that. Uh, but then she lost the majority in 2010. And uh, who lost? The people in the center. I, I won, actually, but a lot of people lost. In, in uh, Pelosi, the sequel, I think she's much more cognizant of the need to build the broader tent. I actually think the squad, whom I don't know, bring a lot of energy and creativity to the caucus. And I think the challenge is not to dismiss them, but to embrace some of their ideas, some from the center and, and the blue dogs, and really build 
terms, not just a bigger tent in terms of people getting along, but in terms of a showcase of ideas. If she can do that, she'll keep the majority, which will be a gigantic legacy for the only person who happens to be a woman who has been elected to a complete second tour of speaker. And I think she might be able to pull it off. Josh, things are much more orderly in the Senate than they are in that unruly lower chamber, as it's known, the House. What do you think's going on?